All right, it's a 2016 Chevy Cruze. We're gonna be doing a front patch and rotors. Uh, so I'm unlocking the car. I already got it jacked up, but I didn't put the handbrake on yet. Could pop the hood. After you pop the hood, what you wanna do is remove this cap. For the brake mass cylinder, close it, and then jack up the vehicle, put on jack and jack stands, and then we're gonna move the wheel. So I'll show you guys when it's time to do that. These covers for the lug nuts. Move that. There we go. Now we'll move these five 19s. One, two, three, four, five. Remove the wheel. This T30 Torx holding the rotor on. There we go. Came out pretty good. All right, we're gonna go here. Remove this 10. This one, what you wanna do? lift up this caliber and we're gonna see if she's gonna push in and you can also see here while we're replacing pads and rotors pad shot all right now let's see if this piston will go in there we go no problems oh we'll girl here we go nothing's leaking oh all right we're all good that's trash. All right, let's take this caliber. I'm gonna get a bungee cord so we can hang this from the spring. Just give me one second. Got our bungee cord. There we go. All right, now let's try to get this up here. Actually, I just put it right there. There we go. Yeah, that's not my way anyway. Put that to the side. Yeah, we don't got any stress on that line there. You'll still be able to clean up this guy pin and add the lube with it on the um on the brake caliber itself. So next we're gonna move the brake caliber bracket bolts, which are two, they might be 18s. Hold on. Remove these two 18s for the brake caliber bracket that holds on to the steering knuckle. Just one. Here's the second one. There's two. Okay. Now let's take off this rotor. Let's see, she's a little stuck, isn't she? Yep. Since we're replacing this rotor, uh it doesn't really matter how you take it off. But usually if you can't get it off, what you want to just probably hit the face of this hub and also a lot of penetrating oil to get off. Not face of the hub, face of the rotor, I'm sorry. But now let's knock off this rotor. There we go. Got the rust off. We're also rubber mallet. Works to a dead blow hammer. Probably take it off. Alright, so now let's go to the caliber bracket. Remove the brake pads. All right, I thought my set came with hardware. Um, I got the top of the line ones, but they didn't come with hardware. So let's just clean up this old hardware. Get all that rust off. Here we go, remove this guide bolt like so get off the old loop there we go add some anti-seize go just let that dry for a second move on to the brake caliber
All right, so now we're at the brake caliber. Move this old boot, just clean her off, and grab your anti-seize. All right, let's get the anti-seize on there. There we go. Take your old guy pin, place it inside, collar bracket, goes pretty good. Take your anti-seize, just get it on the bracket there, so the brake pads move a little bit more freely, won't have any issues there. I personally like to take the rotor, add a tad bit of anti-seize on the back of the rotor. So if you ever have to do any suspension work later down the road, you don't have to do any banging. There we go. All right, take your rotor, line it up. With the torque spit threads and just get this hand tight i don't even use a um a ratchet or anything i just use my hand they didn't call it at that right down there like so i can't turn anymore leave it then that's it. We're good there. All right, now let's get the caliber bracket. Here's our caliber bracket. Get these two bolts in. All right, now let's bolt it to the steering knuckle. Get a couple of hand threads. There we go. Got some hand threads in. Then we take our boot. I'm gonna put it back onto the caliber there, like so. Once you put that boot on, we're going to tie it down this caliber bracket. Let's tie it down this caliber bracket. To the steering knuckle. All right, now let's get the brake pads. Right, we got a little debris there. There we go. Anything up there? Now we're good. All right, let's get the brake pads. Okay, here's your pads. Just place it on, like so. There we go, easy. All right, now we wanna take our brake caliber. Take it from the bungee cord. Go, stick it in this housing. Get the boot on there. Let's push this guy pin back in and let's get our 10. Start your 10 by hand. There we go. Now let's tie this down. Be careful. This is a half inch impact, so strong. If you are using a half inch impact, be careful because you don't want to break that head then you have to buy the guide bolt or if you can't find it you're going to have to replace the entire caliber because it comes with it but once you're done that here we go moves pretty good let's take this brake line put it back in the socket that's on the strut get this out of the way and now let's put this wheel on I didn't show you guys, but make sure you spray off the face and the back of the rotor with brake clean. That's why I didn't show you. Just in the tad bit of a rush today. There we go, let's tie these down. 519s. Up. 
going, bro. There we go. A light setting. Small tug. All right, do the same thing to the other side. I'll see you guys on a test drive. Goes away. Pop the hood again. Let's take our cap. Put our cap back on. There we go. Close the hood. Inside the vehicle. Start her up. And pump the brakes until it firms up. All right, now take the handbrake off. Vehicle in reverse. Good to go. I hope so. All right. Now let's drive it. It's quiet. Used to hear grinding. We're just checking for any abnormal pedal fill any vibration during braking also any strange noises such as squealing and of course make sure the grinding noise is gone but if you did have any issues with your caliber you wouldn't be able to put the piston back in so yeah it feels pretty good it's quiet so there you go thank you guys Always remember, for better, faster service, quick fix here. See you again, guys. Bye.